Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the lower bracket finals of the Bleed Out Tournament right here on Dawkins Stream. This is going to be a game, a best of one between the last two European teams in the Bleed Out Tournament. That's Team Serenity, who was your former number one seed who got knocked down here to the lower bracket last week and Team Pubstars, who's been in the lower bracket for a little bit of time, but now has fought their way all the way back to the finals of the lower bracket right here. Second and third place going at it potentially on the line right here. One of these teams is going to have the right to fight HCP in the grand finals, and the other one is going to go home with that third place prize. I am Rails Barlow, one of your tournament administrators and also one of your casters for today's match. And joining me on the cast is the one only Mr. K3. K3, how are you? I'm quite fantastic. I'm a lot better now that I get to see this awesome match. We are about to see the current, what I believe to be the forerunners of current Left 4 Dead 2 in Europe. And both of these teams, I've played against both these teams uh, a couple times at least, and they're both just forces to be reckoned with, and I'm really excited to see them clash here. I believe it's going to be just one game today here played on the custom campaign Dice Gripper Redux, which uh, during the past few tournaments has quickly become one of my favorite custom campaigns. I think it's pretty balanced. Indeed it is, and as you mentioned, it is indeed one game due to the fact both these teams are both from Europe. That's actually one of the first times I think we've seen a matchup like this, and it just so happens to fall in the lower bracket finals. Die Scraper is, of course, the map, as you mentioned, long-time custom campaign since custom campaign tournament 3, and Dawkins going to have to restart. That's completely fine. But after that happens, then we will be able to take this live. We are going to have just a Pub Stars Worm for this game today. And I also believe we're going to be seeing a little bit of an alteration to Team Serenity's lineup. That's going to be, instead of having Vex and or... Who is uh, well, it's that actually it was basically Vex or Hoda who would be playing for them. It's going to be MC actually reinserted into the starting lineup here today, K3. Yeah, so that's pretty cool to see. I would like to talk a little bit about uh, how both these teams got here. You know, and we saw uh, we saw Team Serenity fight their way all the way through the upper bracket in meeting uh, Team Healthcare Professionals in the upper bracket finals before losing a pretty close game, I'd say there. But Team Pub Stars fighting their way all the way through the lower bracket after getting knocked down by, I believe, Team Element of Surprise. And they've just been on a tear recently, you know, eliminated my team Unim in a pretty commanding fashion. Uh, and they uh, just recently eliminated uh, Team Silencio Jockeys, which I believe was uh, pretty commanding also. So uh, very nice done by them to get here. Indeed. So then as soon as Dawkins Stream does go back live, we will be able to keep this going. And I think the other thing that I would like to mention about this would be that Die Scrapers had this potential for upsets that's happened at least in like RBT3, and I think it happened in CCT as well, and we saw, I forget exactly what the upset was, but I'm pretty sure, it actually no, I do remember what it was, it was Team Apollyon lost to Team Revelation in the group stages there, and that was a pretty big moment. Now we've got the situation in front of us where Team Serenity technically is the favored team in this formula, I would say, but Pubstars has the chance to pull off the upset once again. Ugh, what's that smell? Jesus Christ, Ellis, like the goddamn zombies. We just have to do a quick stream restart just to... Uh... Yeah, it's gonna be up in 10 seconds. Good, that's decided. Moving on. I think this building's on fire, so I'd like to leave this building. Once those 10 seconds evaporate, then we will be able to take this live once again. Apologies for any of those delays. And I think we're going to be seeing... Alright, so Dawkins is back live now. Welcome back, everybody. And we will be able to take this live as soon as both Dawkins and I write up. I'm going to be writing up right now, but right before I do, let's do a quick roster rundown for Team Serenity on Survivor as we go live here. It's going to be MC, Miro, Donne, and Thugwife. And who do we have for the Pub Stars, K3? For Team Pump Stars, it will be Team uh, Spongy, Fishkin, Peter Griffin, and Soul. So we are finally live here. First match with Dice Scraper Redux, and not a lot of damage potential usually coming out of this first set. That we will see them going down into the first staircase here. Charger actually is going to come up again. They are going to land that charge bit and a bit of a jock separation for a little bit. Charger did land one slam, and that wasn't spit. So that's going to be actually a lot of damage on Tamiro. I didn't think that spit would do so much damage, but about 50% of his health already. Uh, depleted on a hit that doesn't usually do a lot of damage. So nicely done by Team Pub Stars opening this game up with a bang. Indeed, yeah, they got that charge fit and then the death fit right on top of that. So Mira's down to 42 HP off that first attack. A little bit of chip on MC as well. Next hit's pretty good. Charger, Smoker, Jockey, and a Boomer for the Pub Stars. Tank is 68%, pretty late in the map as per the usual, where they can either fight outside or in a small storage room. Now this drop 
is pretty interesting because they don't know the special infected don't have a spitter, but when you have a spitter in this area, the damage potential is obviously a lot greater. Since Mira's already taken that much damage, K3, I'll be interested to see if they decide to slow play it a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think so. I guess they're just going to rush through. So I guess they've probably realized at this point that they might not have a spitter, so uh, most likely just trying to take this hit quickly and being able to, I think, probably spawn tank after this, after this next hit. We do have the searcher probably sitting up behind them. I think Ammo that here. the SI are wanting to hit on this drop here. Indeed they are, and the survivors, as we did mention, are slow playing. And they find another set of pills for Miro to pop right there. So, obviously they realize now the infected might have a good setup for down below. And indeed, one survivor is going to drop. Charger Smoker and a Jockey looking for something from the back. And Charger's going to have to get the spawn in there on Ellis. Gets a punch, then does get shut down. Boomer drops down onto Miro's face, gets the single boom. Smoker and Jockey still in the spawn queue right here. And I believe we also have a Witch at some point, but she's actually much further down the tunnels right here. And still, even with two SI down, Serenity baiting it out. And there's going to be a pull going out onto Coach. He is not still on the top of that manhole, so he is going to be able to drop down before being insta-killed. Yeah, so uh, this little spot right here is often a spot where some people might crash, but thankfully no crash is coming out here. The nice, easy draw crown going out there onto the Witch by Miro, and they're about ready to spawn the tank up, I think. Uh, there might be one last little hit coming in. Nice feet going out by MC onto Soul, uh, and everything else is getting just annihilated. That Jockey shut down, Smoker got like maybe one tick of damage, and the Spit got a, a little bit of scattered free Spit damage, but that will be all. We have the first tank of the game now up in the hands of Soul for Team Pubstars. We do have a Pubstars War Room, so how about we send it over there for the tank? Let's do it! What do you want? Gank you the charge, right? And... I'll try and find the shillers. Here you go. I'll try and land Soul. Pushing towards you, I think. They're going to answer. We can probably wait for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can start going. Okay, ready now. Go. Yeah, you're ready. Walk so. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, from that Pub Stars War Room, and that was the tank in the hands of Soul, managing to get almost two in caps going out, spraying the damage a little bit. He got chipped down to about 4,800 HP because Serenity started fighting him outside, let him work his hittables in as they chipped him, and then they retreated back to that room. But almost a three cap landing down there as well. K3, what do you think of it? Actually, no, that's definitely more tank than that. Uh, more damage than that tank usually gets, not more tank than that damage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I thought that was actually pretty well done by the SI, managing to get a lot of damage out of what seemed like a pretty strong situation for the survivors after that retreat and that boomer pop. So they got quite a lot out of it. There is a lot of damage about us left though, and they need to land on these uh, temporary health players if they want to tick that down a lot, because they're still sitting at almost 500 bonus, which is not something that you want to have going in to uh, map 2. However, this is a relatively easy map, and this is not an unheard of type of bonus for this map. Uh, but, you know, 500 points is, you know, it's difficult to match, and you don't want to have that threat of having to match something that high right off the bat. 
Yeah, Die Scraper has a lot. It's a short campaign. There's only four maps, and the finale, I'd like to mention, actually has three tanks still, so there's that. Nice keep going out. Jockey going in, gonna get M2, a little bit of spit damage onto MC. Boomer gets a single. That's gonna be safe from Force Serenity after that. And as I mentioned, the finale only has three tanks. So these three maps in between, map one, map two, and map three, all have huge potential for scores, and that's what we're gonna see Serenity get right here as they work their way into the safe room. 976 points. Honestly though, I've seen scores higher than that, maybe in like the 12 or 1300 point range, and Pubstars could definitely do it, because that tank, they know where it is, they have scrimmed the maps, so they know the strategies to fight said tank, and if they can just avoid taking as much damage even as Serrani did, they could take the lead off of this. Yeah, they definitely can. I've seen some massive scores on this map before. It really comes down to, like, I, th I think the first two or three hits, how well you take those, and then comes down to the tank fight. And other than that, there's not really a whole lot else the SI has to work with. Uh, like, all the SI hits post tank are pretty difficult to land much on. So, you know, I'm just, I'm excited to see uh, Team Pubsar Survivor play because they've proven to me throughout their last few matches that their survivor side is insane like it's so much better than i thought it might be so you know now we're gonna finally see them go head to head with the special effect of team serenity and we actually do have this first head coming straight in here charge is gonna surge right down the staircase not gonna land on anything does actually manage to get a couple punches onto peter grief and because he did get jocked down there for a second but that is not nearly as much damage just went out on to team serenity off first it's a nice taken by them Indeed, yeah, and as you mentioned, their survivor play, even, actually, I could say especially on low ping, is something to watch. Soul, in particular, is one of those players that has just a whole lot of tournament experience and placing high with Team France, all sorts of stuff like that, and his survivor play has been on point. Spongy and Peter can also get it rolling. Fishkin was the change they made to their lineup right there. I've heard he was a Leopard of one player who came into the scene about, I think, 18 months ago, according to Dane, and... That's really interesting to see how he changes their lineup and how they play with it. As long as they can just, like, again, keep that momentum going forward for a game like Die Skipper right here, they should be in good shape. But they've dropped Rochelle into the bottom right there, but the Spitter actually missed the spit on both those survivors. That's really unfortunate for Team Serenity. They would have had a lot of spit damage on that. Yeah, that's actually pretty huge for the survivors there. Uh, I mean, they do find these pills regardless, but I, I think that would have been at least 50 damage of spit onto Peter Griefen just because, you know, he was boomed on and charged in that little corner and the spread in that corner can be absolutely massive so unfortunate spit miss there and we'll allow the survivors to get in here to the tank fighting spot pretty uh, unscathed as they just shut down that hit again charged you landed for a couple of seconds on top of that one boom uh, but no damage coming out of it at all so the clears from team pumps are just too fast we do not have a serenity war room so we will be keeping it here as the survivors do push off onto the tank this is, they're playing this very aggressively, and I don't think Mirrors got the chance to go for his, <laughs> for his car, but he might not need it because he just lands a very nice rock onto Fishkin right there. Yeah, they might try the same strategy, but if they do, Serenity's going to be set up for it, and Soul is actually going to almost get hit by that hittable, but the tank is going to push in right now. Smoker, Jockey, and 100 for the outside support. He's getting oozied into that corner. Jockey manages to land. Tank turns back around, whipping a punch there onto Soul. Tank is now going to get that car, however, onto Coach with 100 pounds going up, but that's going to be a dead tank. That's only one in cap going out from Miro's tank right there. Ellis Fishkin is still stuck in the ceiling, and he does manage to get out of it, but K3, that's pretty much what we talked about, only a down going out. Yeah, now they're sitting at a threat of a 600 health bonus, which, you know, is only like a little over 100 above what Serenity got. But still, any point differential is massive, especially if you're able to match such a high health bonus. And, you know, the tank looked like it was going to get almost nothing for a second until last landed that last second car thanks to the smoker. So that was, I think, oh, very well taken by the survivor, just absolutely destroying that tank and just gunning him down with all four guns as he came in. A uh, lot of damage potential with this current last hit though it will be a spitter treasure jockey and boomer so if they do land, manage to land this boom then it could be a lot of damage coming out onto the survivors uh, and they need to go quickly because they are bleeding out and so they don't want to lose any potential for points yeah and this hit is going to be a boomer charger spitter and a jockey but the boomer gets popped off the bat so there's only three spawns left charger wants to spawn the front manages to jockey going in getting killed spit's gonna go down on nothing and now it's just a charger looking to get maybe a punch or something on the soul, and the charge is going to whip that charge and is going to get taken out before getting anything right there. So that's going to be Team Pubstars making the first map of Die Scraper Redux with the lead, 1108 to 976 K3. That's very impressive. This, this has been really great survivor play. Although I would definitely talk a 
bit of the points up to the fact that, of course, 420 damage, uh, to the fact that there were a couple of SI flubs on Team Serenity's side, you know, the spit missing. Uh, I don't think all the support landed during the tank, especially because they were all in that little tiny corner with potential for multi-punches, and just the, the damage just wasn't there. So they're going to need to tighten up their SI play a little bit more because, you know, uh, while I believe Team Popstars winning this would be considered a bit of an upset, it's definitely not out of the park, and they've proven in their last few matches that they're just an absolute, such a strong team. And, you know, Team Serenity is going to have to play out their absolute best, I think, if they're going to want to take this match and have their rematch against Team HCP in the Grand Finals. Yeah, and honestly, this is a situation where it is a BO1, everybody on green ping, and obviously, since there were a lot of North American teams in the tournament, there wasn't really a huge focus on the, like, I don't know, foreign team versus foreign team domestic. But whenever a domestic happens, even in a home and away tournament, it raises the stakes. Everybody has green ping. They're playing at their best. There's no two server whatever. It's just one game, winner take all. And that's what this is right here. Because, I mean, if Pubstars keeps doing that, and again, if any Special Infected doesn't play the level you said that they need to, which is what they're going to need to do at this point, then we can see an upset happening right here, which would be huge, obviously. Right now, we are going live. Team Pubstars on Survivor, Team Strandy on Special Infected. Early tank, 26%, and then we are going to see Team Pubstars play it safe, shoot the alarm car, and then work their way back in the safe room. I think that's the right call, especially because they're probably going to fight the tank in this opening area. Yeah, normally I would question this play, but uh... I mean, just the fact that it's an early tank, I think it's a pretty safe thing to do. A little bit of chip damage coming out from the uh, hit from Serenity, but they are just going to be holding out the rest of this horde, I think. No, they will be pushing out now. Uh, just, just to tick down this horde. They might be looking to spawn the tank, but they will have to run, I think, into this first building if they want to spawn that. But yeah, I think taking any kind of, kind of safeness that you can, if you have the near guarantee of taking very little damage, and you can better your position as a survivor, then I think it's worth doing. Yeah, they don't have a spitter for this next hit, but the tank is going to be coming up soon. Hunter, Boomer, Charger, and a Jockey for Sarandi right here. And it looks as though Pub Stars are going to get that tank spawn as they start moving back through. And the tank is up in the hands of the one and only Donne for the Pub Star, or not for the Pub Stars, for Team Sarandi, I was going to say. And he's going to have to work his way to the roof right here. He's going to try to get his hittable in, and the alarm car, obviously, before the safe room is also hittable. K3, what do you want to see from the SI support here in terms of a hit? Um, well, I would personally prefer a tricap, just because I think it's such a difficult spot to land a boom in. I mean, if you can land a boom, then that's fantastic, and it's definitely the ideal situation for this tank. But, you know, with this hittable around here, and the survivor's just constantly moving around, it's just such a difficult thing to do. However, I do expect there to be a bit of a rock tank happening here, because there's so many different ways that the uh, tank can start moving around. We do have this hit going in here, the hunter got very nicely skated, jockey got shut down, and... Charger did land a little bit of damage out there from landing, and but yeah, I mean, as I said here, Tank probably just gonna look to play Rock for a little bit, as this is a very difficult spot to commit, and I believe that Tank has to play according to what the survivors choose to do. Yeah, he's making his way over towards his alarm car just by jumping around on the roof. He is taking a non-negligible amount of chip, he's down to 89% health. 5.3k and in an open area like this they can kite them all over the place that white van is not hittable but it is a spawn as we see the si trying to spawn there the smoker boomer and a charger smoker getting a pull charger landing as well tank throwing a rock not going to land the tank almost was able to capitalize on that but instead it's just the charger getting the bulk of that damage and there's a single boom landing onto coach as well now if i'm the survivors right now i'm either gonna want to go forward or i'm gonna want to los and it looks as though they are still kind of stuck out in the middle of both right here because the tank is still keeping some of them they're doing okay chip to them but these hits are they're, they're getting shut down but they're still landing some kind of chip damage i don't know if it's going to be worth it or not i guess we'll see what they decide to do yeah, you can see the survivor is always just rotating around, just keeping their distance from the tank so that he has the maximum amount of distance to uh, to try to commit so that they can chip him down before he gets too close to them, which I think is a smart play to do. One more hit coming in here. Hunter's coming in, not going to get any, really anything. Uh, Jockey did land for some pretty solid damage. Rock did not land, which is what they're really trying for. And uh, this is not going to get anything. So they are going forward. However, Donnie does still I don't like have his... Call. Yeah, Donnie still has his cop car in the front, and I think that's... Probably what the call was on the on the SI side was to I leave the I think they just realized that now they're going back. 
Yeah, they saw the car, and now, now this is actually a very good position for Donnie to commit, and he's just gonna, oh, he's gonna do that quad boom, landing onto the survivors. We whip. And, I mean, uh, yeah, a couple of little punch whiffs there, but um, we do have Nick separated inside. He is smoked, and the Charger is guarding that. That will be an in-cap out on the Spongy for sure. Charger is going to land onto Peter Griffin, and with the squad room, we do have Fishkin getting in caps on the side there, and Spongy is about to die. Spongy is definitely 100% dead. This is an in-cap out onto Rochelle, too, and Soul dealing with all this horror, dealing with this tank and the SI. This is a wipe, and what turned it... Well, from a very nice take with the survivors, crucial mistake, I think, going uh, into the building. And it just gave the SI and the tank the perfect position to drop right on top of their heads. Quad boom, really the MVP of that tank, and set everything up for that wipe. Very nicely done. And now the pressure is on uh, Team Pub Stars because this is a huge point potential map. And they're, and I mean, uh, Team Star is. I think they're about to bring it, and they're gonna have to play super well to prevent eight, uh, Team Serenity from walking to the safe for the bonus. Yeah, and that's the big issue with that area. Like, I like the fact they were gonna try to go far, but Donai had its hitable in position where it was right next to them. Then they tried to reverse field and go back outside with that hit up, and that quad boom was just absolutely nasty to deal with. Because even though Donai wasn't able to really get a corner, they managed to get the pull out on one survivor, and the charger was able to punch that survivor and then land again on to Rochelle, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. At that point, it was just a foregone conclusion. I mean, the other thing they could have done is they could have used that tunnel to the left-hand side to LOS, and I don't think they did that at all. It was more like just trying to get chip outside and then trying to go forward or something like that, but I'd be stunned if we see Serenity do anything even remotely similar to that. I think they're just going to play it pretty standard, take it pretty much outside, and then just push into that left-hand tunnel for the LOS and rotate back, and whoever's tank this is, as you mentioned, for Team Pubs are going to have to do absolute work. Yeah, the tunnel does give a pretty solid commit position for the tank, uh, but I mean, it, it's by no means perfect for the for the SI, and I do think that, you know, I mean, Popstar started out playing super safe, then they just took that one risk and it just didn't pay off. I actually have seen teams fight the tank inside the building up ahead, and I think if he, once Team Popstar is pushed inside and the tank had that super dominant uh, commit position on them, I think that they, they probably should have at least tried to fight it inside for a little bit and force him in because he was on second pass because they did spend a lot of time chipping down that control. We do have this first set coming in here. Charger is going to land for, I think, 10 damage, but he did get leveled in the process. Alarm is going to get hit by this jockey who's just, just taking Danny for an, an absolute ride. Two Boom did also land, so this will be a bit of a delay on the survivors on top of some pretty solid chip damage, and they will have to hold up this horn. That's a slow clear right there going out alive with that alarm card to be triggered, but honestly it might serve to their advantage if they decide to take the tank in this area back here. That alarm card with a tank fight is not going to do anything for anyone, so Hunter, Boomer, Charger, and a Smoker for this next hit coming out, and I don't know, I'd be surprised if he didn't just launch into the safe room, but that's what they're going to be doing. Hunter gets heated nicely by MC, Charger goes in and gets completely destroyed by those shotguns, everything dying, and now they're probably going to be able to push the tank spawn, that's why I didn't like them hitting there, because without a spitter even, everything's coming through one door, four shotguns, low ping, it's not going to land. Yeah, walking into a wall of shotguns, especially against a team that's like, I would say, a little bit more survivor sided, like Serenity, it's not gonna bode well for the special fight. We actually do see Team Serenity, they're pushing out here. There is a hittable here, but it's not in a favorable position for the tank, and they will need to move a lot. I actually like this call a lot, and the tank is actually committed already. No time for a worm at all. The tank's already bound down to 50% health. Support is coming in here. Uh, Hunter is gonna get clear there. Charger did not land, oh, no. and wow, the tank has absolutely nothing. Support got pretty annihilated. He will get a couple punches out onto Dane, but that is a dead tank. Zero in caps, not much coming out on the support side. About three punch, um, no, actually just two punches landing out there from Peter Griffin's tank. And now the survivors are in an absolutely amazing position to walk into the safe room with a very high bonus. Pressure is on Team Upstairs right now. Yeah, I don't know about that call. I mean, originally I might have liked it because there was still a little bit of Horde out there, but Serenity got set. There was no hittable in the area, and he just, like, if he had gone to the left and gotten that other cop car, I would have seen it, and they're in a pretty bad spot with support up, plus maybe taking, like, what, 1.5k to go get that other car, but instead he decided to try to get the wipe just by pushing in right there, and it obviously did not work out for him because in an open area like that, everything would have to land, and his support wasn't able to do that, so Serenity's in a fantastic position. Hunter, I think think wants to spawn now and get a DP before they go inside. Indeed, that's what we're going to be seeing. Hunter going to get skeeted by MC. Smoker going out, not going to land. Jockey does land in the front, then does get cleared. 
Boomer gets a single and then does get popped. And you just see Team Pubstar is spamming health almost in their infected chat right now because they know this is. If they let Serenity get to the safe room with this bones, it's going to be almost insane for them to get any kind of comeback, especially due to the fact that I don't know where the tank's going to spawn on map three. Yeah, very nice crown going out there, and Survivors are just gunning it now. Seems ready, he's just absolutely, they're moving really fast, which is exactly what they need to do with this kind of bonus. Uh, I mean, they and they're, their shutdowns are just on point. You know, none of these hunters are landing at all. It's just a wall of shotguns that they're running into. With the slow ping, it's just such a blessing. Uh, to have good shotgun skill. A uh, bit of a hit coming in here. Uh, pretty nice actually damage coming out here. They did have that smoker charger combo going out onto MC, a bit of spit damage going out onto Miro, and then Dane also taking a bit of a swim in that for the last couple of seconds of that hit. So pretty decent damage. They actually managed to lower the bonus by about 200 points, but 829 still currently. Uh, actually 849 as they I believe found another set of pills and this does not bode well for Team Pub Stars. They need something huge right now. Otherwise they're gonna look they're gonna be going down by over a thousand points. That is a recoverable margin, I will say, because it is die scraper, but it would need an early tank on map three and it would need an early wipe on map three. They have shot the alarm card that's kinda cheekily placed behind that drop down metal sheet over there. So they're gonna get even more horde now even though the event's done. We do have a nice charge going out onto Rochelle. No spare to follow that up though, and then there's a pull going out onto Thug Life, who is the main health bonus, but he's gonna get the M2 on that boomer after being cleared. That's another full hit down. There is a miniature event here at the end, but these maps are just so contingent on both teams making it with bonus. And since Pubstar was unable, was unable to do that, Randy has the biggest advantage you could ask for on Die Scraper. Usually for games to be close, it's a situation like that where both the teams are able to make it with comparable bonuses, but instead, this is similar to what I remember happening in the Melee Runners vs. AG game from RBC3, where a Hibs team wiped on map 2 and then Grizz's team was able to make it to the safe room. We do have another hit trying to come in right now. Nothing landing K3, and it's gonna look almost exactly like that due to the fact they still have a beautiful bonus. Yeah, Zero and Caps going out this entire map. 100% damage bonus, which is really where the points are. And this event used to be a lot longer, and you used to have to hold it out for quite a bit. Damn. But now you're, they, they're able to walk right into the safe room with that bonus. Absolutely massive 727 bonus for the survivors, and 1424 total chapter score. So, I mean, it, like you said, 1200, 1200 points on Dice Graver is not impossible, but it's going to be a trial and a half, to say the least. And, I mean,. We're going to have to see some absolutely astounding play on both Survivor and SI side for these next two maps. Oh, uh, well, this is going to help them take the 71%. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. What is that? That's like that's like out in the open area by the event, I think. And so that's not the kind of tank spawn that uh, that Team Pub Stars needs. They really need to get some kind of wipe going quickly here, and then they need to make the map with bonus. If they don't make this map with high bonus and lower the score differential by at least a bit, then it's going to be nearly impossible to come back because of the finale. I You rarely see teams even make the finale let alone with bonus, so... It's three times from the finale, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen it happen. I've seen teams make, like, you know, like 200, 300 bonus before, but other than that, it's, it's just such a difficult thing to do. It's such a difficult map compared to the other maps of this campaign. And, you know... I mean, Team Serenity, they've put themselves in such a dominating position, and they might have been able to seal up the match. I mean, we'll have to see, obviously, not to rule out Team Pub Stars at all, but, I mean, so far, I'd say Team Serenity just overall outplaying. Yeah, and right now, I mean, they had the momentum in terms of Pub Stars for Map 1, but now they're thinking of maybe they need some kind of, like, insta-kill, or they need to get some kind of like really odd death charge maybe in this area over here, which would reverse the tides a little, but against a team like Sarandi, they're like, I, I don't know, there are plays that you could pray to have happen. I mean, obviously chat's calling for a Christmas miracle, which could also happen, but I have a feeling that Sarandi is going to be pretty much rolling at this point, unless this tank is able to do a whole lot of work. And best case scenario now for Pub Stars, they try to find some insta-kill here, or they do enough damage beforehand for that tank to wipe. And then on Survivor's side, they would have to play picture perfect to make that safe from a bonus. And that would give them at least a couple hundred points back, but then it's still going to put that like emphasis on the finale. They need, they need something really huge to happen here. Yeah, and I mean, this is exactly what they set up for. They set up for something huge. Uh, 
they're definitely going for some kind of dead searching and since Serenity knows what their opening hit is, I think they've clued in that something is up and that they're probably going for some kind of big play. So Team Serenity looking to shut down this hit. Jockey is going to go in here, doesn't get anything at all. Everything is out for respawn. Uh, one boom does land, but I don't know if it's going to help this out at all. I actually do get that pull out, but it's going to get cleared too quickly from these shotguns. He does have to pull up again, uh, try to make something happen, but he will miss that time. Charger is free spawn around this corner, looking for this death charge. Uh, do land his fox. Oh, and, oh uh, that was so close. I actually think the horde got in the way of the smoke for just like a one second too long, and had uh, had MC get dragged a little bit further away, definitely would have or had a potential to be death charge. So unfortunate, slight miss there by the SI, but it was a very valiant attempt, I think. Indeed it was, and instead now Team Serenity, I think they were definitely clued into that once they saw where the SI were spawned up. So no huge death charge going out, obviously there might be a potential for a charge spit coming up in this stairwell. It's going to be a Jockey Boomer Charger. There is also a Witch in play, which is another interesting point for the survivors to deal with. But there's actually no spitter for that. It's going to be a Smoker instead, so not as good as having that inside corridor charge spit potential, I would say. But maybe they can make something huge happen on the Witch right here. It's a problem, though, for them that we're talking about stuff like this, where it's like, well, okay, instead of it being a back and forth game, now it's just one of those things where it's like, well, they need something insane to happen. Yeah, and hey, it just happens so quickly, too. Uh, we do have, see this draw on the Witch coming out here. Witch is having a lot of trouble navigating through the stay roll, as per usual. SI got shut down. That will be a pretty easy crown there for MC. Nice taken by them. And now, another hit that's just kind of wasted on the Witch. And so I was able to just gun through here, taking almost no damage at all. And Tank will be up. Still a little bit of ways away, so they have a couple of opportunities now to try to lower the survivor's health because they have currently two survivors at 100 and two survivors still in the high in the or in the low 90s. So this is just a, too much health on survivors right now, and they can need some chip for this tank. Yeah, this hit could definitely do something about that. Better charger, boomer, and a hunter for this hit from pub stars, and the survivors are starting to push their way forward a little bit, but they know they've got. All the momentum and all the control of this game right now, so they can just kind of play it at their pace. They're going to move to the right-hand side here instead. Boomer rockets in, gets a nice try. Boom! Charger is going to manage to catch one of the survivors, but does get cleared before completing that charge. Pound lands for a second as well for a little bit more chip damage, but again, no real multi-cap landing, no real, you know, just huge amounts of damage going out from like a double charge and a spit. Everything basically getting cleared as soon as it lands. Yeah, I, slightly interesting thing to consider is that since this is probably the spot where they're going to be fighting the tank, they did use that interesting rocket spawn that they weren't expecting behind them. So I am thinking that now, from now on, they will be expecting that spawn. So even though that was a very good try room now, uh, potentially slightly bad for them in the long run, considering the fact that they might be watching out for that spawn in the future. This is a very difficult spot to get any damage in. They do have the charger going here. It does manage to get one punch on top of that smoker, but I'm expecting a pretty solid holdout from the survivors here. I almost see nothing really coming out on them. Right, I mean, I don't know exactly if an ace mod now it has a limited amount of common or if they still have to push forward to turn I off that alarm. I think hit off the alarm, yeah. Oh boy, well that means, that actually might put the situation where there's a tank plus the event horde going at the same time. I'm not that's, sure on that's that, possible because they're at 66, 67 percent right now, and the alarm is a little bit up the stairs, so they will have to spawn the tank before, uh, before the they get to that alarm. They might be able to push it, but it's doubtful. However, I mean, there's a chance that the horde just stops once the tank comes into. Yeah, we'll see exactly what happens. It'll be an interesting conundrum for both survivor teams to face. That hit did a little bit more damage to Team Serenity, but everyone's still sitting up there. Two survivors at 73, one at 88, one at 86, so really still just non, like, it's not negligible damage, but at the same point in time, it's not what Team Pubstars need. And I do believe the Horde has, oh, nope, nope, never mind, there it comes, okay. They were pushing forward a little bit, another little wave decide to pop out. I'm not sure if that's going to be it or if it still keeps spawning. To me, it actually looks like it's still spawning. And the charger's going to go in there, getting a nice charge onto one of the survivors and does get cleared before completing that charge. Spit goes down onto nothing once again. Now Fishkin's is going to work his hunter back in the map right here. And again, there's still horde spawning. Yeah, I don't think that this horde is going to end until the tank spawns. Oh, what? 
So they went to the other way. And now the tank is up. Tanks up the hands. I didn't, I didn't even know you could go that way, honestly. Uh, but the tank it now is up in the hands of Swenji. This is actually a crucial tank. 14 pop stars. How about we go over to the war room to see how they play it? Let's do it. Fuck. I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, right. Right here. Yeah, right. I'm just gonna go in. Nice. Oh, just go in. That's been... Yeah. We can go from up there. This one. Oh, ah, never mind. Start having ready. ready. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, from that Pub Stars Worm. A lot of damage going out right there because the essential equivalent to a quad boom was on them thanks to that event horde still going. But obviously no wipe going out on a team Serenity right here from that tank. Spongy did what he could, but he was already down to like 2.7k HP by the time he got his first corner. There is a charge bit going out onto Dane, who is permanent HP. He is going to be in cap from that, but K3 is looking grimmer for Pub Stars by the second. Yeah, that's... With all that lore, that's a very difficult tank to kill, I think. It's actually, nice fog boom landing there. Uh, Jockey is going to take uh, Rochelle off the edge. That will be a little bit of fall damage. So they are doing some very nice damage to the survivors now. But that's such a difficult tank to take that, you know, just the fact that Team Serenity is even alive now means that, you know, just the score differential for Team Pop Stars to make off this map is going to be even higher. And the fact that they have to kill that tank in the same position with all that horde on them, it's just going to be so difficult to do against a team like Serenity. So, this is not bode well for Club Stars right now. They are landing these great hits, like, just like this one that's landed right now. Charged spit landing onto MC, and he did get pulled through that spit as well. Damage bonus ticked down about, you know, I think from a, it was like 80% all the way down to about 44% just off that one hit. So, nearly no bonus for Team Serenity. But any bonus is too much, I think, at this point, and they did not find the wipe that they were looking for. Yeah, I mean, it's important that Team Serenity is essentially going to be making the map right here. They're already getting all those distance points, 700 distance point map, and the score from Pub Stars to rival any kind of, like, I don't know, to make any kind of game out of this at this point would have to be astronomical with that tank already considered. And Boomer's going to spawn up right here, Madden to get a double boom onto the survivors. It's going to be a jockey smoker and a spitter for the rest of the hit. But it looks as though they're going to wait to send it because I think there's only one more. Yeah, there is only one more choke before the safe room. Indeed, those stairs are camera hell. You have to try to find a, I don't know, maybe one survivor to latch onto. But that damage bonus where they're going to be looking to target. There's only a little bit of perm left on Miro and they have one hit to do it. Yeah, I definitely think that they need to just at least take away a little bit of this bonus. We do have a bit of an in-cap going out here by Miro onto his fellow teammate MC. Uh, just to get them a little bit faster going on into this last safe room push. Hit is going to come in here. Nice team seed going out onto the oh, hunter. That spit. The spit lands at the bottom of this abyss all the way down the elevator shaft. And yeah, and no damage really coming up from that hit. And Survivor's so going to be able to walk in here with nearly a 200 bonus, which is going to put the score differential to uh, just about 2,000 points. Oh, wait, this is Rochelle. But Rochelle didn't die, obviously, so that's unfortunate. For Team Pump Stars to now be hopping to buy over 2,000 points going into their survivor half right here. Now, it is possible for them to make like a 1,600 point chapter or something like that. I will maintain that that's a possibility for them. But again, possibility versus probability, especially with that tank. They would have to find a way to kite that tank in area that, like, I don't know, maybe even using the minigun or something like that. But they need to, like, not even take an in cap somehow of that tank. And that's going to be a tall task. They're going to be hoarded the entire time. Yeah, I guess it seemed like Serenity, this is just a, just a daunting task to have to face, you know, and you, you know exactly what you have to do and you know exactly what situation you're going to be in, and just trying to formulate a game plan that's going to work is just so difficult. Uh, I mean, I guess, I don't think there's a whole lot of strategy that's going to be ha ha having to happen on the survivor side. I think they just need to go out into that open area and just fight for their lives and just shoot everything with the efficiency required to shut down that tank. And, you know, a tank shut down and nothing less is going to be required because, 
they can't be down by like a thousand points going into the finale. They just can't. It's just gonna be too much. So they need to make the safe room now. Right, and making the safe room with a higher bonus would be optimal. But again, it's Team Pub Stars. They have their chance on survive right here, pushing out of the safe room. Jockey is gonna get M2'd over there. We do see a smoker pull going out. It's gonna get cleared. Charter lands in the safe room and then does also get cleared. So that's only a little bit of damage going out, and they need to make the most of this. Once they kill a hit, they need to go fast. Yeah, they need to take the minimal number of hits as possible. They ah, they just gotta gun it all the way through these hits. And honestly, they they took that last hit a little bit slowly, and now they're gonna be making it through. And uh, so SI are about to have another hit up before they get into this last little area here. Uh, Boomer actually does find a nice little arc boom out onto Nick there. Hunter is looking for something, but having a lot of trouble navigating these uh, office cubicles. One more proxy going out onto two of the survivors. I have no idea. Was that a level and a melee and a melee in this, at the same time? In, this, in the same hit. Yeah. I think he was it, trying it to clear common. Yeah, he it turned didn't around. Look intentional because he was boomed. It, so it did not look intentional. Oh my God. Uh, but if that was intentional, then he is a legend for letting the melee skeet and the uh, level in the same hit. Which is now aggroed onto the jockey. This poor soul <laughs> did not deserve this. Didn't ask Dottie's for this. Dottie's getting slapped by the witch. Now yeah, she's gonna actually, Dottie did she's not, not gonna... ask for this. And now, the, of course, oh my the witch is just... Oh, totally we're gonna get pulled into it! What? What is happening? Oh my Which is gonna God. actually get crowned by soul! What in the name of God did we just... Well, I don't know. She was standing in the corner, got pulled right next to her, to the witch. And then the witch just decided not to do anything. And, sh and Soul shot her in the face. So, yeah, that's what we just saw. That's a high tier left red to witch play, I would say. Yeah, it looked like that. I actually intentionally <laughs> triggered the witch onto him. Uh, no, sorry, trigger warnings for chat. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Dane aggroing the witch onto himself. And then I trying to re re reposition the witch into a more favorable position, which I think they did, and then they did get a pull into the witch, and, and the witch just decided, you know, I'm just going to give this one to the survivors. I think they've earned a little bit of a break at this point. Because, I mean, if you look at their health right now, they have taken some pretty solid damage by the SI, and that certainly more than uh, Serenity had taken at this point, and they do have a bit of a hit to take with this horde before spawning the tank. Uh, so, you know, I'm interested to see how they try to take this. I wonder if... Do you think it would have been possible to spawn the tank before uh, the event, or do you think that they have to take the event at least a bit? Yeah, you would have had to do some interesting parkour, but they probably could have. Boomer gets popped, Spitter goes down in the middle of nothing, Smoker on the right-hand side. And I don't know now if you test the Left 4 Dead gods and sit here and see if you can get that horde to stop if you sit here long enough. I don't think that's how it works. No, I, I don't think so. I have a feeling that they're probably going to do the same exact thing, but then the question is, okay, you have this wide open area outside, but that has more access for Horde, or do you just say screw it and take the tank in the same area where you're sitting right now, and try to shoot him a lot before he gets inside there with you spread out, and then try to shoot all the SI plus the common as they're working their way through? It's an interesting question, and that's going to be a boomer landing onto one, Smoker trying to come from down below, Charger going in, actually managing to land onto Peter Griffin in the corner for a split second before getting cleared. Smoker is the last thing up, and is going to die. Yeah, so I definitely think the consensus is that they should have at least tried to spawn the tank, because there's no guarantee that they could have done it, but there is that chance that they might have been able to get that tank out without the horde, which would have put them in such a better position, because honestly you say that they would, uh, if the survivors take the tank here, then they're going to have to shoot the tank a lot as it comes in. But the tank can just drop off the edge and climb up directly into that spot, in which case it's not going to bode well for the survivors. Uh, I was just also going to point out that this boomer landed a crazy arc boom from super far away. We do actually have a nice spin hit coming in here. Charger actually lands just two, three wow, slams on that's Soul. Very slow, almost. very, very slow clear going out on the Soul. Now he's going to be almost in cap for the tank, as well as that Hunt Spit, which took away uh, about 30 damage on Spongy. So, not the type of shutdowns they need. And I think it's an entirely avoidable hit because. They're in the exact same position right now, spotting the tank as they were when the, uh, before that hit. So I think that was entirely avoidable damage and not the kind of thing that Team Pub Stars need. And now, with this bleed out, now that um, the ball is in MC's court to play this tank as he wishes and just bleed out. So oh, they got, they got tri-boomed in that room too. This is going to be interesting now because that's going to be even more horde 
working its way in. MC is going to commit this tank. It is a situation where the survivors are staying too close to that ladder. Now he is going to do what you talked about. He's going to come in right from that special infected ladder. And the survivors are all bunched up right there. He misses his first punch. We do have a pull going out. Does get cleared. He's turning around, trying to get this corner onto Soul. Jockey is going to decommit itself right there, but he's going after the damage bonus. He is going to get that original in cap. Turning back around, working his way towards Coach. But Coach gets flung out and gets in capped on one of the beds. That this is, is a wipe. This is a wipe. There it is. MC's tank managing to get the wipe off that tribe. And that's going to put them behind by over 1,600 points going into the finale with three tanks. I think it's pretty safe to say at this point that Team Serenity is going to be rematching HCP next week in the Grand Finals. With three tanks on the finale in Ace Mod, you're not going to get, in my opinion. And the, if this if this happens, it'll be the greatest comeback in Left 4 Dead history, but I would bet all my money right now that this is Serenity's game. Yeah, I'm not a gambling man, but if I were, then all my chips would be for Team Serenity right now. I definitely think that, you know, Oh, you know, as a caster, you always say, oh, it's mathematically possible to come back. I didn't even do that here. I just yeah, but no, here. in this situation, like, I have been playing Left 4 Dead for a long time. I've, been, I've played it on two different platforms, and I've never in my life seen a comeback of this caliber. Uh, I mean, I've seen some massive comebacks. I've seen, the, like, some, like, 1,100 comebacks on the finale before. Uh, and... Yeah, oh, we actually do have Donna forcing the tank spawn into later. Uh, I honestly, I think I would, I don't, uh, I think that's fine in my opinion, just because the fact that the, like, an early tank here really, really, really sucks, and it's just not fun to watch at all. So, you know, and at least we want a bit of an entertaining finale here, because I do actually kind of enjoy this finale. And think that it would be fun to watch, but you know, as I said, playing this game for a long time, never seen a comeback like this happen. It would be amazing to see it happen now, and boy, oh boy, do I wish that Pub Team Pub Stars would prove me wrong now and say, "Hey, this is possible. We can do this." But uh, I'm a man of the numbers, and I believe in statistics, and I believe that the statistics uh, points to the fact that this has never happened before, and most likely won't be happening right now. Yeah, and the thing about this early tank is that usually it is blocked from spawning this early in Pro Mod, but instead Ace Mod didn't carry that change over. So the problem now is that it was being forced early, and that that's the thing where they would rather... <laughs> they actually want to go back to 10% so they can get wiped in safe room. Hey, I can't stop masochism, but I can say that that's not supposed to be happening in terms of the early tank spawn there, or the early tank spawn on map 1 as a matter of fact, but... Again, because the map was, I'd say, designed for pro mod play and not ace mod play in that sense specifically, that that's the reason why the forcing should probably go to a little bit later spot where it would originally be tank, ban tank banned, but it's not right now. That's the explanation on yeah. that. So we did see a bit of a boomer sack here, uh, which I think was pretty smart, looking for this death charge, because, I mean... They need it. That's, they, they need it. They need it. They can't let them get any more points at all if they want absolutely any shot. And I mean, at the end of the day, even if they, like, uh, a death charge at this point is probably irrelevant, but it's very entertaining to see. Uh, so we do have a very nice skate going down there on to Spongy by Miro. Treasure lands in the back for one slam. Jockey didn't get anything at all. And that's nearly a shutdown, a uh, bit of damage, but you know, damage means nothing at this point, and every single point is just, you know, it's just making the screenshot that they're going to post on the Freddy Nation look a little bit better. Uh, so now it's it's just for honor at this point, I think. Indeed it may be, but still, Team Pumpstars aren't giving up quite yet. Tank's going to spawn in another couple of steps here. It's going to be a spitter, Jockey, Hunter, and a Boomer for potentially a 2-2 hit that they're going to throw in. They're going to throw in the spitter and nothing else at the moment. Maybe they want to save something for this commit. But the survivors are going to fight it in this conference room down here once it spawns. Uh, once it once it spawns, if they ever actually get to spawn, there it is. And the tank at 14 pub stars, potentially the last tank of the game if they get a wipe, is going to be up in the hands of Fishkin. How about we send it over to a team pub stars special infected worm because we can. What? I'll try it. Googie. It's probably only going to be like a one or two boom though. Let's go for it. Or a zero.
So they're not really blocking that back room. Throw in. Mm. Guys, ready? There you go. Yeah. Start out with Yeah, ready. Yeah, ready. I got lots of health, you're not Nice. Nice. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, from that Pub Stars worm. That was almost, almost a perfect try cap in that room with the tank gang in the early corner onto Miro, but instead. He gets shut down, was able to do a respectable amount of damage from it, obviously, but still, Team Serenity on their feet. They have two other tanks to contend with before they make this finale. And this Hunter is going to be spawning up on the side with a Boomer and a Spitter. Boomer gets a single boom. Charger coming up into the spawn queue now as well. Spit goes down onto Rochelle. Charger lands, however, onto Thug Life in the back. And I mean, already K3, Team Serenity's helped in the position where you probably don't expect them to make this finale after killing two more tanks, but still, obviously, they're making the distance points. Yeah, they've got a few extra sets of pills now, and I definitely think that they're going to be making it. I mean, they've definitely got a shot at killing this next tank. Killing the third tank, I don't know. It's a little difficult with the health that they currently have. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's definitely possible. i definitely like to see a little, some shenanigans, maybe holding some stuff out on the helipad. I think that would be a fun way to have this, but now they're just going to play it safe, I think, and hold out in uh, probably one of the offices up top. Pretty typical location for this holdout of the finale. Very nice shutdown on the hit there, as we've been seeing from Serenity all game long, which is really what put them in their current position is the, their survivor play, I think. Is, uh, you know, just being able to uh, capitalize on the momentum that they had from their SI side and just carry that and translate it into points, which is what so many teams seem to have trouble doing is, you know, being able to have that wipe on the, on the SI side and then translate that into an actual lead on Survivor. And Team Serenity's done that pretty flawlessly. Indeed, that's the name of the game. We have another hit coming in from Pub Stars right here. Hunter going in, trying to land, getting shot a lot. We do have that Smoker getting a quick pull, but then does get cleared. Double Boom going out on the Survivor's down below. Jockey getting some scratches. And this is an interesting strategy that we've seen teams do before, where you can push that chair to the side, and then you can have two Survivors up top, two on the bottom, two watch top, two watch spawns down below. But this is not a good area to fight tank. Yeah, no, this, this spot is definitely pretty brutal for fighting tanks. I usually see teams, you know, kind of trying to kite around uh, in, like, the loop a little bit, trying to find some kind of slightly more open spot. But, uh, you know, it's just too easy to kind of, like, land SI and booms and stuff here in the spot. Another very nice skate here going out on to Spongy there by Miro. A little bit of spit damage landing. Charger got shut down, though. And, you know, just... Just shut down after shut down, and Team Serenity is not slowing down at all. No, they are not, but I think they are about to transition because there is going to be a tank soon, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to try to fight it, maybe in a more open area, or they're just getting ammo now so they can work their way back. Points are frozen at 240 for the moment. I'm making sure that they are, like, I don't know, I thought they didn't start it for a second, but that's just me thinking that. We do have a tank up in the hands of Spongy for the Pub Stars, and how about we take it over once again to a team of Pub Stars Special Infected Worm as they try to wipe Serenity. For sure. How do I get up there? This thing's hittable. Probably can't land this. To be honest. Sorry, I'm bringing this thing. You got a crab walk through a fucking. Oh god, no! Oh god, <laughs> oh, it's god. fucking blocking me. It doesn't fit. You can't get through here. It's an AI. An A &E. I, don't, I don't know where to go. Oh, I'm not gonna try and boom. It's an AE. Come fucking. It's 
It's alright, it's gonna wipe. Who's a random horde? The punch and something. Got a punch. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, it's fucking raping him. <laughs> School. Come here, Smash. Come here, and we are back. That was the potentially last tank of the game uh, for Team Upstars. Though they're, I mean, looking at the health of survivors, they most likely will make it to this third and final tank. Uh, so nice to them killing that tank off. Uh, it did end up going AI because a little bit of hit hittable shenanigans not working in that hallway. And then a chair that he definitely could have punched away. And then just thinking that, you know, he didn't want to harm the beautiful furniture and the nice tapestry. Uh, you know, and I, I can respect that decision. Nice try boom landing on the survivors here. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit too late, I think. And, uh, you know, distance points continue to tick up. And, yeah, Serrano is just reaffirming their victory at this point, I think. Indeed they are. I mean, at this point, Team Serrano is going to be playing Team ATP in a week's time on Dead Before Dawn for those grand finals of the Bleedout Tournament. That'll be the first matchup between the two. If Team Serenity wins that game, they will then get to play HCP on a map of HCP's choice to win the tournament. And Pubzards have definitely given it their all. They've been one of the surprises of the tournament. Smoker Pool going out here and not gonna land. Charger's looking for something, but not even spawning up yet because the Spitter is pre-spawned. And MC holding the majority, actually all of the health bonus right now. Now the third tank of the game is gonna be up into the hands of Fishkin once again. And they're saying, send this. AI, how about we send it to a team pub stars where we're in one final time in this tournament, I'm pretty sure, unless they pull off some miracle comeback, because they have definitely earned it. Yeah. This ball's hitable or whatever. The ball's not good. Not even a ball. Ball. What is it? It's like oh, I know what it is, like. It'll just fuck you over if you bring it. Oh, I go in then. That's I'm pulling them, see. Uh, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen, from that team Pub Stars Worm. They do manage to get the wipe there on a Serenity. Bring Serenity's total 3,896 points for Die Scraper right here. And yeah, they have over 2,000 points to score if they want to win this, but unfortunately I do believe that's a little bit out of bounds with three tanks to deal with. If even one of those tanks manages to get like an in-cap, it's immediately over. So we will be seeing Team Serenity versus ATP next week, and this is where they get quad punched through the window is what Sol is saying. That's the strategy for Team Pub Stars on this play. Yeah, so we will be seeing Team Serenity play against Team Healthcare Professionals. However, Team HCP, as they did win the upper bracket, they will be having in a one dot game advantage over Team Serenity. Uh, so basically what will happen is if HCP wins the first game on Dead Before Dawn, then they will have won the entire tournament. But Team Serenity, if they win that first game, they will force a bracket reset situation, in which case they will have to play again a uh, second match, because Team HTTP, for them to be eliminated, they still technically need to be knocked into, into the loser's bracket, which Team Serenity currently resides in, so they only need to lose once, which HTTP needs to still lose twice. Uh, so we're potentially in for a lot of Leopard N2 next week, depending on if Team Serenity can pull out that first victory. However, we do still have one uh, survivor side, 14 pub stars left to play here, trying to seal up at least a few more points uh, to make this score differential a little bit lower. Uh, hey, getting pretty nicely shut down here. It, uh, as I as set up on that witch, we'll get Soul, nice to draw crown. So literally one-handedly dismantling the entirety of that first hit. Four kills for Soul, as well as a very nice draw crown on the witch, and proving just, you know, that Team Pop Stars, they deserve their third placing here. And they, I do believe they will be taking <laughs> they will be taking home a bit of money to divide between the six of them.
I mean, yeah, that's definitely something that we've been accustomed to seeing right here. Soul's gonna get Max for his trouble as well. Tank is up in the hands of Thug Life for Team Sarandi. Nice clear again by Soul on that charger. We are gonna keep it right here for this. The players are gonna fight this in this room over here. Indeed, we're starting to play Duck Duck Goose in spec chat, but let's see if Thug Life can work his way down. There is a way to commit from behind the survivors, but I think he is going to try and do here. Either that or he's going to try to do some... Actually, no, he's just going to go regularly in, I'm pretty sure, down the slider. They probably want a room try cap, but they're going to get a hunter, boomer, and a smoker instead. They still have time to sack that, however, and indeed that's what they're going to do. Smoker goes in, and Souls is kind of chilling near the front because he knows where the tank is. Yeah, so, Tug Life looking to seal up this game right here and ruin everyone's dreams of uh, Team Pubstar making it through the rest of this finale. He is in that second pass, not going to land that curve rack, rack onto Soul. Uh, and Survivors are flying very aggressively, which you know, you kind of expect at this point. Survivors so looking at a, looking to go out of the tournament with a bang. Tank is now committing here. Uh, double turns landing onto the Survivors, and now they this will be a double corner. Uh, Hunter did get skated by the tank though, so you know, Thug Life, even on his SI side, just can't stop killing these hunters, it looks like. Nice multi. Uh, there's a lot of multi, huge multi is landing onto the survivors though. So this will be some damage, but Team Pop Stars will be living through this tank and hopefully able to uh, make it to the next one too. Yeah, that was odd. Support went into the time that was not what you usually see, but they got the damage that they needed to, and it looks as though Bungie did miss that M2, so now Souls is going to be resting on the floor right there for a little while longer. It is mathematically impossible at this point, so congratulations to Team Sarandi and commiserations to Team Pubstar. Sarandi will rematch 8CP for the third time in this tournament next weekend, and then potentially for a fourth time after that. We'll see if they are able to pull off that quote-unquote upset win in the Grand Finals, the first game of that, and it looks as though Team Pubstars are going to start pushing their way up to the top right here. They are separated right now. Hunter going in in the back for some scratches and is going to die. Jockey Spitter and a Boomer for the rest of this hit. And K3, in terms of this game, it really came down to map two. Yeah, it really did. That's where like the majority of the score differential came from. Uh, Team Serenity did definitely have the advantage on map three, where they did end up outplaying them and making the safe room on top of the wipe that they got on to uh, Team Pub Stars. But, you know, that's that was only like a couple hundred points, maybe like 300 points or so differential, whereas map 2 was like oh, yes, they're doing over it. a thousand points. And yes, they are holding out on the helipad and fulfilling everyone's dreams. And as we did say con commiserations in pub stars, but I honestly, I think a congratulations all for them is in order to, they played absolutely phenomenally this whole tournament and have really game. earned their, their third placing here in the bleed out tournaments uh making top three is nothing to scoff at at it it's such a high uh, skill tournament like such as this one so very nicely done by them uh, i think they deserve a lot of props for playing as well as they did and defeating a lot of strong teams on their way to yeah, they get them spacing and they will be taking home some money as a reward for their victories indeed they shall and the survivors are going to sit on this helipad and rochelle looks as though peter griffin is going to stand forward right there and jump and try to block a couple of those spawns. Hunter spawning up, Spitter as well. Hunter going in, gets skeeted by Soul. Spit is going to land for a couple ticks of damage. Boomer is down below. Soul is going to find him and is going to get stumbled for his trouble. And this charger still looking for one of those sneaky death charges right there from the left hand side. And the point of keeping one survivor far there is to get those spawn blocks and then just let him keep using those almost unbreakable doors to his advantage. Yeah, it should also be noted that the survivors have to be constantly crouched out on this helipad. Otherwise, if they just stand up, then the wind will push them off the edge and pretty much instantaneously wipe them all. So, uh, good map awareness by the survivors there, uh, crouching on this helipad. Hunter is coming in here, trying to land something. Will land something onto uh, onto Rochelle, land some pretty solid damage. Survivor is standing in the spit out on the helipad for a little bit of time there. Uh, oh, Kismet wants the game completely with the air push. Well, as an admin, you have the power to make that happen. So, you know, do it, I guess. Well, that's a bit overshot. I think that spit actually got pushed by the wind. A spitball could have definitely gotten a good amount of damage on them, but instead, Pumpstar is still alive right here. Yep, yeah, the OT2, you're going to wish you didn't sign up. That's going to be the air mod that we're going to see here, which is absolutely people fighting in zero gravity, turning it more into pub style play but hey you never know at this point we still have potential for a death charge right here and these spawns are having an issue getting back inside because they're being pushed off 
Yeah, tank is now up, and if the survivors don't get out of here, then they are absolutely dead. They're uh, staying here. They, I mean, yeah, there's no pills left. Uh, you know, hopefully we can see the wind push the tank off the edge, because that would be funny. The uh, tank. But I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Donnie is coming in. Oh, yes! oh my god, oh my god he's, he's still alive. Up side. He's alive. Are you kidding me, Donnie? No, not like this. Not like this. He's gonna, he's gonna try to get his way out of there, but he can't actually move. All part of the plan. Rock oh lands on god. the soul. What no in way. the name of God is happening right now? This is competitive left 4 Dead 2. Rock landing on the soul once again. This is the best and with the tank. Why is he hang himself? What is going on? He's landing rock. Oh my god. What in the name of God? There's a smoker pole going out. Another rock going in. Almost landing on him. Rochelle no. fell off! Rochelle <laughs> getting picked up and fell off! Oh my god, another rock landing on the couch! Oh my goodness, Bot Donna using the magic of the thing! gonna oh kill us Oh my god! Oh my no way. god, there is no way! Another rock in the middle, there's gonna be a stumble off the side! He can't that get the pick up. The last he one. can't get the pick he, up, he's gonna, gonna have to try to off. hold. He's gonna try to hold his crouch button. Rock gonna go in, not gonna land. He got the pick up on the coach. There's the pop Gee. going out. Donne still throwing rocks. Man, he land another one on the spongy. I cannot believe it. I'm seeing him pushing him, and there's the death punch. Oh my god. What a way to wow. end the lower bracket right there for the bleed out tournament. I cannot believe what I just saw. That was amazing. Exactly as I called it, Donna getting pushed off the edge from the wind, managing to hang on for dear life on the little tiny fence there, landing all kinds of rocks on the survivors. And with just with those in caps, Rochelle getting blown off the edge uh, while in caps and falling to her doom at the bottom of that skyscraper. Uh, just a, an absolutely amazing way to go out of a tournament, I think. And so we will be seeing Team Popstars eliminated from the Blue Death Tournament in third place. And Team Serenity securing more money as well as a, at least a second place finish as they will be facing Team Healthcare Professionals in the Grand Finals of the Bleed Out Tournament. It's been a long road to get here. A lot of very long Swiss rounds and a very long playoff bracket, but we're finally arriving at the end of our Bleed Out Tournament. Indeed we are. So I just want to say thank you to both the teams for playing and congratulations to Team Pubstars for finishing in third place right there. And again, congratulations Team Serenity for moving back to that rematch with 8CP next weekend, Dead Before Dawn. That's where we're going to be seeing it happen right there. Home and away server system. We'll see exactly when they decide to play it, when they decide to post it. We'll keep you updated. Thank you to Dawkins for streaming this match. Kiss me for hosting the tournament, obviously. K3 for co-casting with me. This is going to be one hell of a finish when we see it. Any final words, K3? Uh, thank you to The Wind for providing us with a very entertaining finish to the game. Uh, thank you to Team Pubstars for really giving it their all throughout the whole game, regardless of the score differential. And uh, thank you to Team Serenity for showing their top tier gameplay once again and putting on a show for us as they secure their way into the Grand Finals. And as well, thank you to all of our amazing viewers keeping this community alive and allowing us to host these amazing tournaments, such as this current one that we are currently in the Grand Finals of. And as well, thank you to Rails, who currently goes unsung as he continues to give his efforts to the casting community of Left 4 Dead 2 allowing us to spectate these amazing matches so thank you all for coming in to join us for this match of pub stars versus serenity and we'll see you all next week indeed and with that we will see you guys in the grand finals of the bleed out tournament have a great day everyone we're going to toss the control of dawkins stream right back